Hi everyone. Thought I'd do a quick video about um, pattern sizes and fabric stitch counts. Um, this seems to come up a lot uh, on Facebook groups where people are asking how to convert from one um, fabric count to another. Uh, I, I think some of this misunderstanding comes from uh, statements people make. So, so people will say things like they design their patterns for 14 count for instance uh, and it, it doesn't really make any sense and it, it just confuses the issue I think so what I'll do I've I'll just drop this image onto the page so we have something to look at now I've, I've set this to deliberately to be very small so it's 100 by 100 stitches and you'll see the the pattern most patterns are divided into blocks of 10 uh, that most people work from when they're stitching now so this is it's 100 stitches so it's 10 blocks across 10 st stitches per each block now what happens is if you were stitching this if there was a 10 count fabric that would mean there were 10 10 stitches per inch so each of these big major blocks would be one inch and that would mean the entire picture the finished piece would be 10 inches across but but you don't typically well they don't make that fa fabric i don't think so say you're stitching on 14 count fabric what that means is that this is no longer an inch this would be an inch so you'd have 14 stitches per inch then the next inch would be at the 28 stitch mark uh, the next one would be 42 and so on and that's why you end up with this smaller size so instead of 10 inches the fabric count's gone up in terms of there's there's more of those stitches for each inch so it's now only going to take seven and a quarter inches to fit that picture in but the picture is exactly the same there's no more or less detail in it uh, and the same if you keep going so if you go all the way to 28 count uh, so as this goes up that means you're getting more stitches per inch so instead of you know we started with 10 then we talked about 14 now you'd be getting 28 inches so you'd be having that much so that would be would take the, the space of one inch and then that would be the next inch the next inch, and so on and that's why you get to three and a half inches and again so it's it's going to be denser on the actual fabric uh, it's going to be come out a much smaller size but it's not going to be any more detailed uh, and that's why i mean where people say they design for a certain fabric count like if you design this for 28 count makes no sense it's exactly the same pattern that you could do on 14 20 any of these sizes uh, now where it does factor in is if you and the only time it makes sense is if you actually want to design for a certain pattern size so if you want to target say you're say you want it to be uh, I know say say you actually want it to be 12 inches or 11 inches I think you can get frames for it so 11 by 11 say well now you're what fabric um, you need to use and how many stitches weigh into that so what you can do let's bring this up and, and show you in in math terms if you did 11 inches and you want it on 14 count fabric so we multiply 11 by 14 oops and that means 154 stitches so if we change the size to uh, bump up with the keyboard so you see it changed here and now we've got the 11 by 11 on 14 count and now you see the resolution the detail has gone up slightly we've we've got more stitches so we've each each stitch is a is a smaller piece of the picture even though the the actual size of those stitches on 14 count is exactly the same size they were on the 11 count they're they're representing a smaller section of the picture and that's that's where you're getting more resolution um, and we can we can do more than that so for instance if we're doing 11 count on 28 inch fabric well now we're up to 308 so for the same physical size picture 11 inches if we now do 308 ooh, so close uh, and you'll see straight away that the picture is more detailed um, if you go up get to 308 and that's 11 inches uh, and this is how you get that relationship between the physical dimensions, the stitch count, 
of the the fabric how many stitches per inch and the size of the pattern in stitches now the pattern you buy anytime you buy a pattern from anywhere is always in ultimately in stitches regardless of what it says so if it says it's for 25 count and you've bought a uh, piece of fabric some of the patterns they're limited in how they present it on the page so it may say it's for 25 count and give you the the size in that you are completely free to do it on 28 count 14 count anything you want it the picture will come out identically there will be no difference whatsoever all that changes is how big that piece will be so it may appear more detailed in that um, if you look up close if you're on a, a higher count like 28 the stitches are, are physically smaller so you may not see them they may not be as noticeable and this is very similar to if you're looking at TV so if you buy a TV set um, remember when high def TV came out and it was 1080p was the the latest and greatest it's 4k now but you it, you could buy a 1080p TV that means there was 1080 pixels vertically for the TV you could buy that as a 56 inch TV which would be much physically larger on the screen or you could buy a 30 inch TV they would both be the exact same resolution so when someone shoots a movie they don't shoot a movie for 42 inch TVs or 30 inch TVs they shoot the movie and package it for use on 1080p resolution displays so it looks the same for everyone the only thing that's different is the size of the picture you may want a larger or smaller size because of where you're going to put it uh, how far away you'll be viewing it so if it's a picture on your desk versus a picture on a wall in a big room you may want a different size uh, and obviously you can you know if you want the ultimate in resolution that the higher up you go so if we get to 500 it takes a little bit uh, longer you'll you'll see I'll just go one more you'll see this is now much sharper you you can't you you'll see much more detail in the image and the the piece is going to come out uh, much larger as a result and there's more stitches but if you as you zoom in you'll see it's still divided up into um, into blocks of 10 stitches you know and you can zoom all the way in and get to the pattern um, so it's still the same to work from uh, the thing to remember when you you change the pattern size if you've bought a pattern you can't change uh, the size for a given count you can only change the count and that and that will change the size so you couldn't for instance if you bought a 500 um, size 500 stitch size pattern that's going to come out the exact same size on 22 no matter what uh, the only way you could change it to come out at a different size on a given fabric is to change the the number of stitches so if if you're on a system where you can you're charting it yourself you can you know if you want more detail or less detail uh, you can change that yourself but otherwise your only control if you've already got the pattern is to change the fabric count to dictate the size if you're working starting from the size normally people you may have a given size that you want you're used to working on a particular fabric that will kind of dictate how big your picture needs to be and that's where you make the trade-offs between you know how nice and detailed um, and sharp you want the image uh, and how much work it's going to be so i hope that explained it a little bit and wasn't too confusing um, if you've got any questions uh, put them in the comments below uh, we'd love if you could subscribe to us and uh, also like our Facebook page and uh, we'll try and do some more more videos soon thank you